Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you guys with a video today which I honestly, in my mind, have been thinking about filming for the longest time. My friend Paige and I, back in high school, would like talk about doing something like this. I've already done the ab challenge that I'm about to show you guys and it's now like a week later and I'm now filming this. For two weeks straight I did a Chloe Ting ab workout every single day. It was a workout that was supposed to be incorporated into like other workouts to bulk it up and make like a 30 minute workout each day but since I already plan my own workouts every day and kind of enjoy doing that I thought I would just tack like do my normal workout and just tack the 10 minutes of abs onto the end but that also meant that by the end of my workout by the time I got to the abs part I was quite exhausted but that's okay we made it through I'll link the video that I follow down below so you guys can check it out because I know she does so many different ab workouts which I didn't realize until after I started so if I had have known I probably would have put a bit more effort into choosing one I very rarely specifically train abs I like to train legs and upper body and if I'm doing like some arm stuff I might incorporate some core work in there but for the most part it's not really something I like to focus on I feel like this sort of video was a trend like in lockdown last year like April sort of time so yeah, I'm late to the party, but I also only started like working out and going to the gym in lockdown last year. I figured it was a good time to do the challenge since I'm in like a consistent workout routine at the moment where I'm working out five days a week and so it was pretty easy just to slot it in there. So anyway, I'm only stalling now. I'm sure you guys just want to see the results. So here's a before of my abs if that's what you want to call them and um let's jump into the challenge and i'll catch you guys afterwards so we can have a look and see if there was any improvement all right it is day one i don't particularly know what i'm getting myself into here i've got the workout up on my laptop let's jump into it <laughs> is done um, that wasn't honestly as hard as I thought it was gonna be but I can see like for the first few times it's gonna get like progressively harder before it gets easier because my core is still gonna be sore from the day before the next like three or four days might be a bit tough but then after that once it like pain turns to strength then we should be good but yeah that's day one I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two good morning guys day two got the workout ready let's go that it was going to get harder before it got easier was most certainly correct because by the second exercise I was like checking to see how far we had left but it's done, day two done, see you guys tomorrow my laptop just doesn't want to cooperate this morning oh, time to go day three, let's go So this is new for me. Normally, as you can tell, it's not the morning. Probably, I don't know if you can tell, but it is the afternoon and it is very hot. Hence why we're rocking the crop look today, which I never do. So this is a whole new experience. But you guys are keeping me accountable today because I am not keen to do this, but we're doing it. So let's go. <laughs> Six 
I'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven. Hello guys, day seven of the challenge. I have been working in the garden, so I have grassy feet and you can probably see I've just walked my car. It's time to do day seven. Yesterday and today I found it a lot easier because I haven't done like during the week I do my actual workout and then I just take this on to the end. That's quite hard but I think the heat in the middle of the day is getting to me. But anyway, I had to ditch my hair tie for the last one because I had to put my head on the ground and my hair tie was like down low and it just wasn't working for me. See you guys tomorrow for day eight. We are halfway. Obviously you guys haven't seen any, I haven't shown you any progress yet, but I honestly haven't really looked for any either, so anyway. See you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, day eight. And it's time to get into it. I am not in the mood today, gonna be honest. But we're gonna do it anyway because you guys are holding me accountable. So um let's go. Day eight is done. I'm gonna insert some progress shots for you guys of Danny here. Hi. She doesn't want to be on camera. So day 13, we're doing Chloe Ting. Let's go. And that's the workout guys. I hope it adds a Day 13 done. See you guys tomorrow for day 14, the last day. <laughs> Hello guys, day 14, last day of this challenge and um, you guys haven't seen like an after yet and I haven't seen an after yet because I haven't filmed it yet but I'm going to do this, film an after and we'll see if there has been any abdominal development. <laughs> Taya's in here guys, if I'm laughing, I'm not laughing at myself, I'm laughing with, with Taya. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, 14 days are done. That was really good. I feel myself definitely, I feel like I've got, wow English. I definitely feel like I have got stronger since like two weeks ago from day one. But I still can't do the whole thing without stopping so that's fun. But yeah, let's have a look at some results. And that is the 14 days done, not gonna lie. Pretty chuffed with myself that I actually like pulled through and did the whole 14 days consecutively. At the start, like after the first day I was like, 
what have I got myself into? But I did it. Not gonna lie, you guys actually held me accountable even though you had no idea that I was filming. Me knowing that I like had to be consistent for the purpose of the video really helped me to stay consistent, which was great. As I said on day one, when I started, it was like starting off with like a hiss and a roar. I was doing really good. And then I was like, hmm, I feel like this is gonna get harder as time progresses. I feel like it got harder for the next couple of days and after that, it was kind of like, I just got used to it and like used to the exercises and by the end of the whole 14 days I feel like I knew what was coming next and I was like mentally preparing myself like I was like okay I know that it starts with this and then it moves on to this and then the last four exercises are this, this, this and this. So I guess what you want to see is the end result. There we go. Um, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell but I feel like there is a little bit more definition in the uh, abdominal region. <laughs> that phrase makes me so uncomfortable. I feel like the biggest change I noticed was in just my core strength like even now it's nearly a week since I finished the challenge and this week I've been incorporating more ab exercises into my general workout just because I know that my core is now stronger than what it was previously and I don't want to lose that two weeks worth of effort. I am quite happy with the results but I feel like I'm really keen now to try one of the other challenges and go through and do another two weeks and see like if I notice any more changes. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like it's really rewarding when you can like see the progress and you're like oh like it did because throughout the whole challenge I had no idea if like it was making any difference and so get to the end and be like oh yeah I can see like a little bit of definition happening there it was um yeah quite rewarding and like knowing that I didn't waste my time which was great that is all for this video if you do want to give the challenge a go I will link the video that I followed down below that is all thank you guys for watching stay safe stay well make some smile and I'll see you in my next video So yeah, that is the plan. I'm gonna do it now. I am stalling because I don't want to do it first. Today I'm coming at you guys with a really loud boy race driving fast. <laughs>